Lads, what is going on? Gonfia, and today I'm going to be bringing you not a hybrid squad builder, but it's going to be an absolute sensational Serie A squad. Wait until you see this. I mean, we have got the likes of Inform. You've seen from the title, Inform Di Natale, Inform Cavani, Inform Mikkeli. There's even more Informs. It is possibly up there with the best Serie A team, if not the best Serie A team, in my opinion, that you can buy. Um, it costs. It's going to cost you around about eight. I think I paid 800k, but it would have gone down a little bit more by now. Uh, because there's, some, there's, there's certain players that could go up, could go down. I'll explain more, but let's get into it, lads. And first up in goal, we have got Marche. Just a standard Marche. Now, I could have got the info Marche and I could have got Buffon. But the reason why I went for my normal Marche is because this guy is just OP. That's, that's the only word for him, overpowered. Everyone knows it. He's six foot two. He's got 86 diving, 88 reflexes. And I'm telling you, he feels like one of the best keepers money can buy. He is just so weirdly good. I don't know what it is. He's even he feels better than his inform. I've used his inform. I've used his normal card, and this guy he just he feels incredible. Anyone who's used him will will explain will know exactly what I'm talking about. He just seems amazing for 2K. But our first centre back now, lads, is going to be Cellini, and he's going to be partnered with Og Bonner. Now, lads, I'm pretty sure anyone can agree with me. This is possibly one of the best centre back partnerships money can buy. I mean, we got the six foot one. Shit brick house, Cellini, 80 pace, 86 defending, 84 heading, one of the best standard defenders on the game, 20k I picked him up for, it is a bag for how good he actually is, he, he's just incredible Cellini, and he's going to be partnered with Angelo Ogbonna, everyone knows about this guy, just a standard card somehow, I don't know how he's only 79 rated, 80 pace, 81 defending, 82 heading, and he is just amazing, he's even got freestyle weak foot, a free, yeah, a freestyle weak foot for the cheek, both of these are funny enough for both left footed, but trust me lads, that is just, it doesn't matter. They're both just incredible defenders and I'm pretty sure the majority of you who've used any of these will know what I'm talking about. But moving on now lads, our right back is going to be this week's inform Congo, Abdullai Congo, that's his name. <laughs> I explained before how he looks about 70 in his picture, I don't know what's going on, but he is only 29 I think. I, I probably, I'm completely off probably, I just completely guessed how old he was and I don't know how old he is. But in-game, I don't know. Another weird thing, and if any of you know, obviously you all know who Jack 54 HD is. He even explained it. Inform cards seem to be worse than their normal cards. And I don't know what it is. It just seemed weird. But his standard cards seem to be better for me. And I don't know what it was. It's just how it is. It's how EA have made the game. His standard card was incredible. His inform card was good. Don't get me wrong. He's a very, very good defender. But I don't know. It's, it's the standard card that seemed overpowered and amazing. As his inform just seemed... Just decent. I picked him up for 18k, which is definitely worth worth paying for him. If, if for he's probably one of the best French inform right backs you can get, and you know for 18k that's not bad, lads. But uh, left back now. Moving on, we're going to be using this guy, Am um, Amiro. I can never say his name right. Looks like a goalie keeper in his picture. I don't know why he's screaming as well. I don't know what's going on, but in game, lads, this guy is he's just a beast. 88 pace, 76 defending, 79 dribbling, 1k I paid for him, and he does dirt, trust me, he's always the guy back off corners, like, when you get caught out from a corner on the counter attack, he's always there with his 88 pace, he keeps up as well, he's got good strength, he attacks a little bit, but he also gets back, because he's got good work rates, and he's just a really, really good player, definitely worth picking him up, I mean, he's 1k lads, any of you can get afford him, uh, at start off our midfield now, as you can see, shit's getting real, we got Marquise on one side, in form, we've then got... Gwaurin in form, and then in the middle, we have got Pirlo holding it down. Uh, first off, we'll start with Marquisio. Great, great player. Everyone knows about this guy. I don't know where he came from. He just popped up on the scene for Juventus and just started tearing shit up. He is an amazing player. 81 pace, 85 dribbling, 83 pass. He's even got 77 defended as well, so I think originally he is actually a CDM. But he's one of those style of players that you could play CAM, CM, or CDM. He's just got all the sort of rounded stats. He's got a four-star weak foot, and he is brilliant. Definitely worth 69k that I paid for him. That's a, that's pretty cheap, lads, for what you get. He, he's got an amazing pass, and this whole midfield is just it's, it's ridiculous. We'll then move on to Guarin. 83 pass on him, remember. He's also got an incredible pass. 77 pace, which is perfect for centre mid. Uh, 80 defending as well, so, you know, he gets back and does helps out in the defence. This is why this team was probably so good. Picked him up for 41k now, lads. I know it is. A lot of people will say it's because he's got two stars. Two stars. Two star skill moves, can't even spit my words out, but he is amazing. He's got one of the best long, controlled long shots money can buy, and he's just so fun to play with. I'm pretty sure a lot of you have used his standard card, and his inform card was actually better than his standard card for once, 
But uh, moving on now to the mid, the centre mid, holding it down is going to be Andrea Pirlo. There was no one else. I could have got him from Hamsik, but this guy, I mean, you've got to have him in your team. He does dirt. He's probably the best centre mid in this team as well. He was just, for me, he was incredible. He's got that 92 pass. He doesn't miss a pass. 61 pace, but he got good aggression, so it, it doesn't feel like that. He's got an amazing shot. He's got one of the best free kicks, one of the best set pieces off a corner. Uh, 86 dribbling, and on the ball, he just feels OP and so nice to play with. He's got a four-star weak foot, and he is amazing for 8K lads. He, he's one of those players you've just got to buy in a Serie A team. But I uh, set it forward now. This is where shit starts getting real. We've got the brand new inform Cavani. Unfortunately, lads, there wasn't much of a difference between his inform and his normal card. I'm not going to lie. He does score me some nice goals. You'll see in the clips at the end. He's got a really, really powerful shot, man. It's, it's ridiculously powerful, his shot. But other than that, I just didn't see much difference from his normal card. I was actually using his normal card in his team as well just to, you know, try and get the differences to tell you a lot. But I didn't see the difference, lads. And for 100 and, I don't know, how much, 150-odd K more... I don't think it's worth it, lads. Honestly, I just stick with his normal card. But he is a very good player. Just, I don't think he's worth 169k. Up front, then, we'll be using Inform Di Natale, who will be on that side. No, nope, wait, wait there. Got it wrong. And then we'll be using Inform Mikkeli as well. Now, what an attack this is. I mean, Inform Mikkeli is brilliant. For me, he's one of my favourite strikers. Just, I say, I say a lot of strikers are my favourite strikers, but... I don't know, I just love using him. I had him right at the beginning of the game, if you like or remember, my squad builder right at the beginning of the game. Uh, Four-star skills, four-star weak foot. He feels ridiculously fast on the ball. Uh, he's got an amazing shot, great dribbling. I mean, the ball sticks to his foot. He's very, very similar to Di Natale. And he is actually worth the 92k I paid for him. He scores goals for fun. He's such a goal scorer. And he's going to be partnered with Inform Di Natale. I'm not sure if any of you did manage to catch my Inform Di Natale player review. I'm not sure if it hit sub boxes, to be fair. That is on my channel, though. I reviewed this guy in full. He is a beast. The ball sticks to his foot. He's got one of the best dribbling, like I explained, I've ever played with on a player. The ball literally sticks to this guy's foot. He's got amazing pace. A ridiculously good shot. Amazing passing. 83 passing. Remember, he's got 83 passing. And mickley has got 81 passing. So that's probably the best partnership for passing I've ever seen. And yeah, lads, it is just a brilliant team. So yeah, this is my Serie A squad. Go out and buy it if you've got the coins. It might cost you around about 700k now. I'm not sure if Dean Natale's dropped in price. But uh, yeah, it's just a brilliant team, lads. Definitely worth the coins. But uh, can we get this to 250 likes and follow my Twitter? That will be in the link in the description below. I'll leave with some nice, nice goals at the end. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll speak to you next time. Peace.